What's up, GW family? It's your girl Mika, and I'm back with another video. Uh, I'm Prophetess Tamika. Welcome to Prophetess Tamika Kingdom Thinking. I have a word for y'all today. It is a powerful word. I don't know how long this word is going to take. I don't want it to be too long. I just want to get the point across and get it done. Okay. But first, before we go into this word, y'all, let me pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to wake up to see another day that we never seen before. We thank you for giving us a chance to get things right that we had got wrong, God. And Lord, we just bless you on today. Father God, I ask that you bless this word. Let the, pe let, the, let the people have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Let it fall on good ground. I bind up every evil spirit, every demonic force to try to come up against this word and try to hinder the hearers, oh God. And Lord, we just bless you. I, I give you full control of me today, of my mouth, of my vocals, of my mind. Let your Holy Spirit come in and overshadow us, overtake us, God. You get full control. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's do it. All right, y'all. So the name of this word, as you can see from the video, it says, Come from among them and be ye separated. Also, what does darkness have to do with light? When you become a child of God, right? When you is have surrendered your life to him and you have... Uh, except that God is your Lord and Savior. Um, you come from among those that you used to hang around. I'm sorry, y'all be looking over there at my bed. You come from among those that you used to hang around in because you don't do the things that they do no more. I remember when I used to, you know, uh, you know, drink and club and do all that other stuff. I used to hang with those that did the same thing, right? Now, I don't, I don't do that anymore. Not saying that I don't have friends that's not, you know, I don't have friends that's, you know, like that, that's not saved, whatever, but, I mean, my lifestyle is different, so I don't hang a lot, because what are we going to do? I'm doing this, and they, they might be doing that, so it's something different, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, let me just get into the word real quick. Let me just give you the word of God. Uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, King James Version, chapter 6, verse 17 says, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separated, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, right? Basic, and I must read it from the Amplified Bible. I'm sorry, y'all, forget my mouth. The Amplified Bible, Okay. It says, so come out from among unbelievers and be separated, said the Lord, and do not touch what is unclean, and I will graciously receive you and welcome you with favor. 18 says, and I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. Okay? Now, uh, for the new... Uh, English version, the interpretation version, international version, I'm sorry, the NIV, it says, 19 says, though I am free and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. Okay, so that part right there is my next point. Apostle Paul, so some people are like, well, how you gonna win a sinner if you can't go, you know, be around them? Jesus went around the sinners to minister, to preach, to give them what's right. He sat among them, but the whole time he was among them, y'all, he was teaching them the right things of God. He was ministering. He wasn't drinking with them, smoking with them, club hopping with them, doing the things of the world with them. He came among them to be a light among them. You understand what I'm saying? So that is what he required of us. Apostle Paul said that he went among them. He became all things to all men so he could win some. I'm, I'm going to read what he said here. I, I, the new, uh, the, uh, I'm going to read 1 Corinthians, y'all, King James Version, chapter 9, 19, 19 through 27. And I want y'all to be able to go and read that for yourselves. And it's going to show you what Apostle Paul said and what he done, okay? Here we go. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself a servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. But to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I may gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, right? Being not without the law to God, but under the law to Christ, right? That I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became as I as weak. 
that I may gain the weak. I am made all things to all men that I might be that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain, and every man that strive for the master's tree is temperate in all things. Now, okay, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, right? You go among the sinners to become like them, like to sit with them and talk with them to gain some. But you're not doing the things that they're doing. You're just coming among them. You become, I think you all high might, you know, you come among them, be like them just to talk to them to gain them, right? And he didn't make sure you remember when he said, uh, being not without the law to God, but under the law to Christ. So you're going to make sure that the things you are doing, you're still being, you are still representing Christ, even when you're among them, right? Okay. It says, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are never corruptible. I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so I so fight I, not as one that bear the air, beat the air, but I keep under my body, right, and bring it unto subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself shall be should be a castaway. Hear what he said? He said, I I take to my body and I put my body under subjection, meaning he makes sure that his flesh is up under subjection and he's not acting like them because he don't want himself to be a castaway away from Christ. So when you go among the among the people that are not doing the things they're supposed to do, you know, the sinners, you ought to be a light even among them, even when you're actually coming among them and just being like yourself. You know, I can hang in everything, but I'm not doing everything you're doing. I'm still staying within the right realms. You get what I'm saying? Okay. First uh, Corinthians 5 and 17, just going to uh, wrap it on up where he say, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. So the old things that we used to do, we don't do no more, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Old things that you used to do, you don't do no more. So when you go among uh, the, the sinner or the people, you, you is to represent Christ to the fullest and let them see that, you know, like, um, people, okay, my my family, I'm going to speak about me, my family members, I used to club and, and, and party up and everything with my family members. And uh, since I have changed my life, they seen the change. They noticed the difference. You know what I'm saying? And when I go among them, I go among them with love and, res you know, respect. And I don't, you know, uh, and I laugh and I, I talk and play with them as well. But they still see the difference. I'm still... Um, not doing what they're doing. They know that I have, you know, completely turned a different leaf over. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to represent Christ in everything that you do so people can see, hey, the light, I did, she did that, I could do it. And I used to be really something. So I know that God has no respect to person. If he can deliver, if he delivered me, he can deliver him, man. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what we used to portray when we go around people. God is a deliverer. He's a, a deliverer out of sin and shame. And he can set us free. And what you want to do is to come from among them and be ye separated. Meaning not just separated in the physical like that, but like in spirit. You're not going to be doing the same thing they're doing. You get what I'm saying? That's what he means by come from among them and be ye separated. Right? Now, some of us physically do need to move away until you are strong enough to go among people. Like when you first become saved and you're a baby in the Lord... You want to separate yourself and surround yourself with people that are same-minded where you can gain strength and become a strong soldier. So then you'll be able to go out and then get others because you're not easily strayed or tempted away. You get what I'm saying? So, and it says in the Bible too that what do uh, uh, evil communication corrupt good manners. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to make sure... People are like, well, I'm not doing anything. That. Yeah, but if you hang around it too much, then all of a sudden you'll find yourself yielding to certain things that you shouldn't be yielding to. And that's what it means when it says evil, evil, evil communication can corrupt good manners. So you want to spend time with God more than you do with the opposite. You feel what I'm saying? So um, I hope this blessed someone. I love y'all so much. And um, 
uh, I pray that you know you replace uh, pain with power, fear with faith, lust with love. And we always cover all things that is not of God with the things that is of God. And walk in spirit and in truth. We watch for Christ. To all my godly words, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise. Promise to go there for your life. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.